Hello everyone, this is Jay from Legio Photo. A lot of our customers have been asking us about SMDV Sprite 360. Um, one of the popular questions is, hey, how does the light output of Bright 360 compare to other battery powered bare bulb flashes, mainly uh, Godox 360? So we decided to do a quick comparison of uh, SMDV's Bright 360 to other Godox bare bulb flashes. So here are the uh, flashes that I will be comparing. Uh, today and just to clarify the actual models are rebranded Godox flashes so I will refer them to uh, the, uh, using the Godox model number basically AD180, AD360 which is the non-TTL version and AD362 which is uh, the TTL version and AD200 which um, is same thing as Flashpoint Evolve at this point, some of you may be wondering why I'm leaving out the Godox AD600 in this comparison. I'll compare it in, the, in a future video, but the basic reason for leaving that out today is to keep things simple. Basically, light modifiers affect light output. So I'm doing today's comparison without any light modifiers. And because the AD600 has large diameter and reflecting surface behind the bulb, that affects the light output even when its standard reflector is not used. And hopefully this will become clear in our future video when we actually include AD600 and some other light modifiers to do the comparison. But again, today here I'm uh, comparing these models here uh, without any uh, light modifiers including the standard reflectors. The standard reflector for Godox has, is different than standard reflector for SMDV. So I'm trying to leave that out so we can compare apples to apples. So here's the basic setup. I set the light meter on a tripod at six and a half feet away from the flash and the flash and light meter are all on the same height then I basically pop the flashes at full power and uh, we'll see how it goes. So here are the results. The camera was set at f22 it's all the same setting. White balance was manual uh, so that's all the same. So any color difference you see here is because of the flash. And as expected, the AD180 has the lowest output of them all, um, meter reading at F9. And AD360, the older one, and Bright360 has same reading at F11. So, uh, and we've known that, or at least I've known that. And what's interesting here for some of you may be that AD180 and AD360 has differences of only two-thirds stops. And I, I've known that also because we've been using both 180 and 360 ourselves as well. Now, something we did not know was that the TTL version of AD360 has lower output than uh, the older 360, uh, lower by one third stop. And the other surprising thing that we did not know until I did this test is that the AD200, the new Godox AD200, puts out quite a bit more than we expected. Basically, it matches the output of uh, AD360 version 2. So I found that rather interesting and we'll be posting more on our uh, blog so please come visit our website and if you have any questions uh, post it at the in comments and then we'll try to address it in our future videos and, and on our blog. Thank you.